Just when you thought it was safe to get behind the wheel again, yes, indeed, they decided to target, it seems, the city and business, the uh, um, mounted uh, road uh, blocks in terms of their own bodies on the roadway uh, at uh, Upper Thames Street, which is near Southwark Bridge, and at Bishop's Gate in the heart of the city as well. And then another protest out by Canary War. So business, clearly, their target, trying to cause as they always do, maximum disruption. So that did take place, always takes a good few minutes or so for the police to arrive and then they have to arrive in sufficient numbers before they can move in and start removing them, arresting them and taking them away from the scene. Then there's the added problem in that some of the 61 protesters who were taking part in today's protest had glued themselves to the roadway. That requires specialist teams to come in with these solvents to try and dissolve the gl- the glue so they can take them off, uh, take their hands off without ripping their skin off. So it all takes time. It all adds to more chaos and frustration for the motorists. But they're unrepentant. The protesters say they're going to be back. I mean, the Home Secretary tried to put in place measures, including injunctions, to stop reoffending. But it seems like whack-a-mole to me. You, you know, you get rid of one lot and more, and more just turn up. Are these the same people doing this again and again? Have we seen any prosecutions of people in prison? Or is this piece of legislation simply not fit for purpose? Yeah, it's the same core of about 100 or so people who are doing protest after protest. And you said it's like whack-a-mole. It really is. I was at uh, the High Court on Tuesday for a hearing there where they were told, remember, these injunctions were put in place on behalf of the Department of Transport to try to stop them uh, targeting the likes of the M25 and some of these arterial routes in the capital. Uh, They've been breaching that injunction over and over again. So they've been told, the latest is that 124 of them who have breached the injunctions are likely to face trial on the around about the end of November, we think. But the end of November is a fair old while away. They've had 14 of these direct action days of protest so far. You can fit quite a few more days of disruption in there before we get to that period of time. So no end in sight, really, to what the driver is going to have to face in Mark, the days ahead. 